Keep him peeled, man. Keep him peeled. These things are lethal. They killed him so quick. Okay, we see him coming. We're coming. Did I just get shot? Welcome to Stalker Anomaly. For those that don't know, Stalker Anomaly is a community collaborative effort. A load of mods put together in a free Stalker experience. You can get it on ModDB. I'll leave links in the description below. I'm also going to be using the Expedition mod pack, which you can use to modify the look of your game through this overlay here. Press the home button to open it. All you've got to do is download this off ModDB, extract the Stalker Anomaly uh, zip file, and then just run the launcher. And if you want to use the Expedition mod pack to change the look of your game, sharpness, high resolution textures, you could extract the contents of that zip file into your Stalker Anomaly directory and then run the game. And you should have this overlay. You can change all the settings. Uh, Bloom is a bit strong, so I've turned all that, that kind of stuff off. Let's jump into a new game, though. We're going to choose the Wanderer guy, the no faction dude. So we can, uh, that's recommended for beginners anyway, so we can just do what we want. Select a nice uh, friendly looking chap there. And we will get ourselves a shotgun and some of the basics. We get some meds, cigarettes. We'll grab some of that. I want some bandages too, because we need to stop the bleeding if that happens. Get an energy drink and some vodka. I've not played a stalker game in many, many years since pretty much stalker came out originally. The closest experience I have had is probably the Daisy Stalker inspired servers by Erno. That's probably the last time I played. I did videos on those a while ago. There's a load of settings, though. You can have survival mode, campfire mode only. You can only save at campfires, a la Dark Souls, that kind of thing. Iron Man mode. I'm just going to play on easy story mode because uh, I'm a noob. So let's get into it. So we have just woken up. Let's get our gear on quickly. Uh, what's our PDA? And we'll get our torch out. We have our guns, our bolts, our knives, all our good stuff. We have a 3D PDA, which I believe is new to Anomaly as well, which is really cool. You got a map, you can walk around with the PDA in your hands. And we have got the messages on our screen there. You can fully customize all this, so have no hard turn those messages off that pop out on the screen. Okay, let's go and speak to this dude over here. See if we can get started. A lot of gunshots in the distance. Привет, брат. Yo, what's up? Fanatic, uh, seen you around here before. You seem pretty new. I'm a deputy leader of the village along with Wolf. If you'd like, I can teach you some things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could do with a little help. Excellent. Let's uh, teach you how to hunt mutants. There's a small herd of boars on the other side of the road nearby. Uh, thick skulls, tiny brains. Deal with them is to shoot them in the side or in a perfect world right up the butt. Okay, let's do it. Let's go kill some boars. No, привет. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. So with the expedition mod, it changes visually. A lot of the textures, we get higher resolution textures. And the lighting and color palettes for the game so i have turned that one off but you can see the, the color difference if you turn that one on there are some further down there's loads loads of options for customizing the look of your game uh if we go down here we've got stuff like this bonus look pack gives it a nice look it's a nice color uh let's have a look at the Cine one as well below here. That's quite a nice one. Right, I'm going to draw my weapon as we're approaching this road and the shots are ahead. So just over the road, we should see the boars. But we've got to hunt with our friend here. Whoa, that come out of nowhere, man. Well, they're not boars. Uh, do you see them? Uh, there they are. Dude! Dude! 
Keep him peeled, man. Keep him peeled. These things are lethal. They killed him so quick. Okay, we see him coming. We're coming. Did I just get shot? I think I'm bleeding. Whoa, man, watch the fire. Okay, I think, am I bleeding? Jesus Christ, man. Is that something else coming? No. Uh. Well done. See if the knife's strong enough to get a few parts off them. When you're done, let's head to the nearest anomalous zone. Um, for now, the name. They call me basically Wolf's Deputy here. Training the rookies. Okay, good training. Uh, it's enjoyable, you know, especially when they come back with their first... Uh, training day. Reach the anonymous... Uh, okay. Anomalous area. I don't know where that is, man. But. We will chop all of these up if I can. I need a stronger knife for the boars. Where where do we go? Area. Task list. Reach the... Oh, God. Up that way? Where's that, man? Over this way? I'm going to use my PDA to kind of orientate myself. Okay. Let's go there, I guess. Shooting man. What are these? What are those? Are we good? Are we good? We. I, I don't even know what he's shooting at. Like a mutated rat. I think he got them all. Something just walked into an anomaly over there. Oh my god. Okay, that must be the place. Oh, awesome. I can light that fire. I'm going to save my game here. Because... And this is the furthest I've got so far. And I'm going to die, no doubt, again. Oh, oh, here we are. Okay, we have to go around the side here. We've got to speak to Fnatic now. Here we go. What do I need now? So this pit is full of gravitational anomalies. See that ant artifact over there? That's just a loaf of anomalous bread. Ignore it. <laughs> okay. But also in this pit is a jellyfish and jellyfishes, along with every other artifact, have both positive and negative qualities. It's quite fortunate that one is here. Now, let's talk about the equipment you should have for artifact hunting. Echo detector. Okay. Here, an echo detector. All detectors, while active, register the presence of artifacts and measure the distance to the nearest one. There's a basic requirement for finding any artifact that isn't just junk. The more frequent the beeps, the closer the artifact. Unfortunately, this old model can't detect any, uh, all types of artifacts, but it should be fine uh, for your attempt today. Better models have better detection range and abilities. 
Now, the second tool, a lead container. Do you still remember the talk about artifacts and other possible... Uh, barely. Did I just hear something? Something growling on my left, Fanatic Men? Check that out. Just about every artifact worth carrying is radioactive these days. The lead container can completely seal an artifact inside, keeping it safe from its uh, from its radiation, but also prevents you from using its other effects until removed. Without it, your ass would begin glowing and you die in less than a few hours of carrying every even a single artifact. It's quite heavy, but better safe than sorry. If you actually want to use an artifact on yourself, it's best done with a more advanced container. Scientists call them artifact application modules, which will protect you from the rats without blocking its other qualities. Like I said, almost all artifacts are radioactive these days. Even if you bought a lead container and normally field itself is still going to give you a little glow. This bottle will help you uh, pass some of the glow out of your system. Oh yes, bolts. Never forget about these before jumping inside anomalous fields. Throw some around to find your way through the surrounding anomalies. That's all. Let's go. I'll cover you from here on. Okay, that's a lead box. And that's the echo detector. Will that automatically just beep if in, in my inventory? We'll find out. Such an idiot. I actually did need this thing out. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, where is it? Okay. I need to get the hell out of here. Fnatic, where are you, man? Where the heck did he go? Has he gone back to town? Jesus Christ. I am very poorly. Let's get the hell back to the village. Oh, God. Uh, okay, I think I've recovered myself from radiation poisoning. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, now let's get back to the village. First time, though. How's it going, guys? I'm back. Can't believe Fnatic left me, though. Well, well, I can see you'll be an experienced stalker one day. Let's head back to the village. We'll continue your training there. Uh, yep, yep, we're already there. You seem to know the bare basics now. But I've got an extra challenge for you when you're ready. Okay, what's the next challenge, my man? What self-respecting stalker has never found another secret? The zone is common for everyone here. Those who manage eat sometimes. Finding a stash is not just an achievement, but a necessity. I've hidden a little nest egg somewhere in the village. Try to find it. If I were a stash, where would I be? Oh. A ball. Nice. That was his stash. Okay. Found that quick. Level of perception. Uh, the zone won't be taking you so easily. Final lesson. You've certainly proven to be uh, your own stalker and you should be proud of it. There's nothing more I can teach you. It's only work for me though. Uh, here's the deal. A lot of dirty work has to happen to keep the village uh, unmolested by the local soldiers. Sidorovich keeps the village itself safe in this way. But I have a few friends who want to leave. And there isn't any real way out of the out for them. That's the thing with the military's border patrols. They're not too careful about keeping people from getting in. But they'd rather kill you in cold blood than let you get out. So my friends are stuck here. The checkpoint guards won't let them through alive unless I bribe them with a battery artifact. Have you heard of it? They can be found in electro anomaly. I've already sent every stalker I can to find one. But no one has gotten back to me yet. Will you help me out? Well, I'll try. Come through for me, and I'll come through for you. Get back to me. Uh...
Was that Wonderwall? Nice. Wait, what? What's that? We got company, guys. Is that it? Bloody zombie attack. Well, I'm going to leave it there. But if you want to see some more Stalker Anomaly, let me know. All links in the description, as I've said, for the mod game itself of Stalker Anomaly and the mod pack that I'm using for all of the colors and graphical overhaul and textures, high-res stuff. Don't forget to leave a like as it really helps get the video out there. And I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more content on the channel. I'm a little bit scared to go out there. I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time. <laughs>